<laughs> it's not even comfortable. No. Sorry, do do we see? Can we uh, that that guy? Can we look? Oh. Like a real new balance. I don't, I don't know. Today's video is a bit of a cost of living one. I'm going to be heading to care for, or as the Taiwanese say, Jarafu, just be looking at some different items. I'm stuck behind some trolleys, which is pretty decent uh, if you're in a hurry. Luckily, I'm not today. So, as I was saying, we're just going to be looking at some items t electronic items, TVs, not too noisy either, <laughs> doing his job well. Some TVs, electronic items, uh, some clothing, so trainers, shoes. Uh, some random shirts, trousers, you never know. Actually, I can buy past this. I don't know why I'm being polite and standing behind a load of trolleys. Oh, I spotted something here. What have I got here? Oh, I could do with one of these. Shrama King. Oh, no. And you have. Uh, you got Jiro, uh, uh, Jiro Shwama. Uh, so, Jo, uh, Joshi, Dada. It's like a... Yeah, and La, La Jo. Okay. Thank you. So, I've just gone for one of these chicken shawmas. Is it okay if I video? It's okay? What? Is it okay to video? Yeah, oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, shit. Got the shawarma that I did say is cost of living. This was about uh, just over two pounds, so was two pounds in US dollar, around uh, $2.40, something like that. It's wrapped up nicely. Let's take a look to see how it tastes. Okay, so the bun's nicely toasted. Let's take a look inside. Quite a decent portion. I think this was a, a large one. So we've got chicken in here, some salad, some cabbage. Ask for a load of chili sauce, let's see. Not bad at all. It'll definitely fill a gap whilst I do this video. Let's get going. Okay, so as you saw on the entrance, very pleasant. We've still got some things to wash our hands. Okay, let's have a quick look. If you want a Captain Marvel bag, we're looking at here, uh, 1,199 NT. So it's about 28 pound, okay? 28 pound for this Captain Marvel bag. I don't know what it costs in the UK. Okay, looks like there's some kind of uh, promotion going on with the trainers, so we can take a look, see what the prices are, see what's still on offer. Uh, this is normally the case. They have a load of trainers, what they're trying to get rid of, probably older versions. So I'm just going through all the boxes here. Uh, oh, it looks like they're all in the boxes. So maybe they're not showing anything. Or maybe it's like a surprise. You just have to open a box and have a look. Oh, that's... Sorry, do do we see? Can we uh, that that guy? Can we look? Oh, oh, you're packing. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Is it? No, they're packing away. It looks like. So we won't look at the discount trainers. Okay. We're in danger of getting sidetracked. We're in danger. I'm in danger of getting sidetracked. Here. There's so many things to look at here. We've got the bicycle area, bike area. Let's have a little uh, little look. So look at some prices. I have no idea what's a good price or not, or what even is a good make. Here's a giant bike. I had a giant bike, as in the mate giant, when I was uh, around 13, bright orange. It suited my uh, complexion. So let's have a look here. So 8,800, so we're looking about 200, 200, uh, 220 pound, okay. It looks like it's a, <laughs> I can't read it. It's like a 26 times 13 something. It's got Shimano, I know Shimano's good. So 
let's have a look at this one same with this one next to it 8800 oh this one must be graphite or lightweight shimano sora 23000 so here we're looking about 575 uh, 575 maybe 580 pound something like this so that's the black one here the 500 580 pounds worth okay yeah it must be a light graphite one got a couple of racing bikes up here racing bikes i don't even know what they're called let's have a look at these uh what are these Espresso, espresso, coffee bike, espresso bike. I don't know, whatever they are, they're 33,000, so that's about 770 pounds. So just under 800 pounds for this espresso bike here, as you can see. I think they're putting them out. Yeah, they're putting them out. Okay, I'll try and come back here later on. Let's go and take a walk down. Okay, if you just moved into the country and you're looking for some. Uh, duvet sets this is where it can get expensive these are the costs what you don't realize do eat into your allowance uh, for example bedding sheets okay uh, let's have a look here so double bed bedding sheets you can get different quality let's get out of people's way you can get different quality and people normally go for cheap ones because they don't know where they're living yet do they let's just start off with looking at a pillow when I'm getting out of everyone's way okay so I guess this is a one piece one for about 10 pound okay so around 12 US dollar just for your bog standard it actually feels okay okay 12 pound for one that's probably on the cheaper side of things uh, then if you're looking for some kind of special are they like foam where they shape around your head uh, especially if you're going around my little peanut head these are about 27 pound 28 pound so that's on the higher end of the scale. Of course, everything else in between that is in between. Let's try and find some quilts. So these are quilt sheets. Oh yeah, looks like we've got some uh, double bed quilt sheets here. Uh, so look, they're okay. 25, around 40 pounds get ones here a set for 25 pounds that's probably on the on the cheaper side 25 pound ones lots of different ranges you can get ones for about 75 pounds as well you don't want to be moving into a house in a new country and using someone else's sheets it is common to uh oh, they don't do mattresses here to have the same mattress of course if it's really dirty then you don't want to be doing that tvs and electronics let's have a look Dun, dun, dun. Right, we've got this one here. This one is Sony. Oh, 65 inch. So this is 65 inch, 59,000. So we're looking around 1,500 pound. So 65 inch XR, clear image, contrast booster. Have no idea what any of these means. Here's a 4K HDR one, 55 inch. You're looking at uh, around 1,400 pound, okay. They don't actually look too bad and look i don't know what a tv costs now back home in the in the west but that's not a bad price is it uh this one here this is a big one uh 64,000. so you're looking around 1500 nearly 1600 for this one here I'm trying to see what inches inch wise it is it doesn't say and they've got no end here so as you can see care for Jarafu basically has everything you need it has all the electronics all your clothing all your food which is upstairs but we're not doing food today that's for another day everything you need in a hot country so you've got all your fans you've got air conditioning units if you get into here and although everywhere has air conditioning set or you should have in your house or in your bedroom you can buy additional fans so let's have a look at fan prices this one for example not a bad size but it's not one of the vertical ones. It's around 25 pound. Oh, the, yeah, this one's around 25 pound. This one's just over 25 pound. If you're looking for a stand-up vertical one, you can normally get not a bad one because they do last quite a while depending on how you maintain it. So this one here is about 25, it's about 35 pound, okay? As you can see, it's not a bad size. It is actually quite good. It looks quite 
quite nice actually. Uh, strong, dependable. So if you come in, you want to get yourself a fan, even if you've got air conditioning, just to get a little bit of circulation going and you can pick one up for around 25, 30. You can get them for around 20 pound uh, in some places depending on where you go. Uh, let's just have a little look here. Right, going on to some, oh yeah, here's one. Look, here's one for 20 pound. Good size, bigger isn't always better. Not many people say that. So around 20 pounds, if you're on a budget, not bad whatsoever. And then you've got the nice ones here. You got one for about 200 pound here, which is a Philips one, another Philips for about uh, 100 pounds. So you can get the cool, trendy ones, uh, the fashionable ones, uh, if you want to. Okay, looking at some headphones now. If you want massive headphones like this, 50 pound. Don't know what make it is. Let's try and find and make what people might recognize. Da -da -da -da. Well, I'm failing at this because I have no idea, apart from Jay-Z's headphones, which they don't have here. But you can basically pick up a load of the headphones ranging from around five pound, four pound, five pound fifty, and then a little bit more expensive. Oh, here, you got ones. Do anyone even use a wide? Does anyone use wide ones anymore? Three pound? Maybe not. Sony ones, here you go. Here's some Sony ones, 20 pound. If you are looking for the Bluetooth ones, the cordless ones, you can pick up a decent set for about 25 pound. Oh, here we go. Speak of a devil. There you go. So they're 25 round, 30, 35 pound wireless headphones yeah 25 pound oh they hook around your ear these are wireless 20 pound okay so everything's pretty affordable of course like everywhere in the world depending on uh, what brand you're going for okay let's have a look here looks like we've got some ipads uh, apple ipad uh, 64 giga let's take a look 64 giga this is going to be around three 350 pound okay Apple iPad Air. So the Apple iPad Air is around 500 pound. And that's 64 gigabyte as well. No idea if that's good or not. Seems okay. Here's some lightweight laptops. So an Apple MacBook Air. An Apple MacBook Air is just over 1,000 pounds. So around 1,050 pound. So that's a MacBook Air. Going deeper, deeper into a technology zone. Okay, here's a load of, what are these, CD players? Are they CD players? Put your hand up if anyone's got a CD player anymore. I actually had a dream about this the other night, but I had a massive CD player, which I used to put many CDs in. But it looks like this is some kind of Panasonic CD player, one set. <laughs> I'm getting a bit nostalgic here. So this will set you back around 100 pound. This nice little Philips sound system, around 100 pound as well you can get extra headphones speakers speakers for about 10 pounds a 12 us dollar big boom system for around 50 pounds titan boom system so there's a range generally of around 20 pound to again to 50 or 70 pounds right i think there's a few more laptops here so let's just take a look so we're not just looking at Apple remarks and we've got some watches and stuff GoPro G sensor G spot sensor that'd be useful if we had one event uh, GPS set. no I'm in the wrong area here okay Acer Acer lock laptop so looking here Acer laptop this one is uh, around 770 pounds just trying to find out the spec. Is it even called spec? No idea that's what it's called. Spec, computer spec. It's a cyborg, it's a cyborg anyway. So here's a big daddy one for about 500 pound. Ace is really popular brand. I've got a couple of Acer laptops and yeah, no complaints whatsoever. I've got a big one and a smaller one. Here's another one for 500 pound. And 
it is a huge one for about 300 pounds. Aspire, why is this only 300 pounds? This one here, I'm trying to have a look. Aspire 3, why is that only 300 pounds? It's a catalog promotion item, already been used maybe. It looks powerful. This one here, G-Force, 29,000, so just under 700 pounds here. Not bad at all. Asen Asus. Asus, 500 pound. Asus Viva Book. This one, 500 pound. And then you've got a smaller one for just under 500 pound, around 450 pound. Let's go and have a look at Nintendo Switches and stuff like this. We've got more gaming headphones, no idea what gaming headphones are. But let me try and give an example. So you've got a load of laptop or computer headphones, gaming ones for about £10, about £6 here. Right, here's PlayStation Switch. Let's have a look. God, I wonder what PlayStation are on now. No idea. Let's have a look. PlayStation 5, PS5. Okay, so for a PS5, PlayStation 5 and Spider-Man 2, you're looking at £520, so it says, £520, a game, so let's look at the top, this is the top 10, let's see what the top 10 games are, Uncharted for about £35, and tell you what, I won't be picking any of these, where's FIFA and everything, no idea, so generally for around £25, 25 to 50 pound depending uh, on where it is in the charts and the switch Nintendo switch let's take a quick look here different variations on the switch this one is uh, a switch OLED for 10,400 so that's just over 250 pounds for the OLED and then each game is coming roughly into 25, around 30 pound, 35 pound. There's Kirby, my son loves Kirby. Kirby's around 35 pound, 35, 40 pound. Super Mario, 25, getting on for 45 pound, okay? Uh, and there are some cheaper ones for 20 pounds. So that's the general range for uh, the Switch games. Okay, while we're here, let's look into the vacuum cleaners. Never had to buy a vacuum. You can get one of these for 5,000, which is about, uh, 5,000 is about 150 pound. Actually, not a lot of people have carpets. They just sweep, they sweep the floor. Microwaves. If you're renting a house, most houses have microwaves in it already. You can pick one up for around 50 pound here. Okay, seems reasonable. Toshiba, around 60 pound. And that's probably the cheapest. From there, they go up to around 100 or 150 pounds. Now, because a lot of apartments, uh, not so much houses in Taiwan, because they're outside of the city, but if you're renting an apartment in the city, more likely than not, you won't have like a big oven with hobs, what you used to use in back in the West. So you can actually get yourself an extra oven grill for around 50, uh, yeah, so there we're looking about seventy pounds for this one. Okay. Now Dadong is Dadong is the uh, the mate from Taiwan. What does it's the electrical company? What does most uh, electronics here? Very reliable, reasonable price as well. This one here, look, you can see this one's about uh, thirty-five pounds. Yeah. Sorry, Dimitri, yeah. Dimitri. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you can see you can get. Uh, all the accessories you need if you don't have anything. Some places don't have any cooking facility in the house whatsoever. If you like your coffee, I do, but you can just get it from 7-Eleven or Family Mart. Here are some coffee machines or coffee makers. This one, uh, 1,015 uh, pound. Uh, 1,015 pound, 115 pound. And it's a Philips, 115 pound. And there's another one here, or oh, this one does a latte and espresso for 7,000. So around uh, yeah, 
7,000 you're looking at just under 200 pound. You're looking at about 180 pound for this one here, okay. You, no one needs washing machines and stuff, you get that included. Let's have a look, here's some trainers. Okay, I'll start back here just to give you an idea. You can go to certain sports shops, but if you're going to Adidas and Nike, the prices are pretty bad, as in too high. You can come here if you don't mind buying your name trainers at a department store like Careful and get some at a pretty decent price. Let's go straight to uh, their trail shoes, to some ASICs. So here, I don't know what the latest ASICs are. I wear ASICs, but not the latest ones. Uh, ASICs Jow running ones at the top. Jow Content 7. So they're on offer for about £35. 1,400 uh, as we come down here is around uh, 42 pound the grey ones as we come down here just under 50 pound here these ones here around 45 pound see what other other mates they got they got some puma uh, Puma running yeah. shoes. So 25, round 45 pounds. New Balance, New Balance running shoes. To me, they always look a bit fake here. I mean, I mean, I mean look at that. Does that look like a real New Balance? I don't, I don't know. Uh, okay, I've seen these before. Okay, so you got these ones for about 25, these are about 30 pound. These ones, about 40 pound here. It's gone to that Adidas now. Surely they're not smashing out fake stuff here. Surely they're not smashing out fake objects here. I mean, this is why I do order mine from the UK, from Sport Direct or something, because some of these look really a bit dodgy. I mean, <laughs> come on Adidas. Is that what we're doing nowadays? Uh, oh, I won't buy any Adidas running shoes whatsoever. Have they got any dressy, any dressy fashion shoes? No, there's no Adidas Gazelle, which they did have previously here. I saw some nice ones. That might be at the other end. Uh, also, the night, don't poo. I wouldn't buy these. 50 pounds, they're about 50 pounds than black ones. These ones here, 50 pounds, 50 pounds, 50 pounds. Oh, here we go, here's some Adidas Le Campus. No, doesn't say, but these are 50 pounds. So, yeah. <sighs> Quality looks shocking. Okay, let's have a look at some random Puma t-shirts. Uh, right, so this Puma one here. Men's Puma, just under 20 pounds, so about 18 pounds. This one here, the same, about 18 pounds. Now the thing is, everywhere in Asia sell different goods. So someone might bring them in from Indonesia, someone might bring them in from China. They do have different quality. Sports Direct, if you're ordering Kangol stuff, you might order 10 different hats and you're gonna get 10 different kinds. The quality control is very bad. I think here's some Reebok classics, Reebok classics kind of vibe. Females, no, they're not. Uh, here's some trail shoes. So if you like trail running or anything with the mountains, so about 35 pound here for some ASICS trail shoes. Here's some ASICS runners, these are okay, £50. Uh, Black Adidas t-shirt, female, just under £20. Okay, wow. heading back. Look, there's all different brands for some more affordable brands, £10, random ones. Adidas yoga mats for about £22. You can 
can buy all your random basketballs, loads of equipment. Literally have everything you need, as you can see. Big selection. They used to have a load of exercise equipment. You got all tents, sleeping bags, you got everything here. If you want to go camping, look what they got here. Sleeping bags, 25 pound over here. Big range. You got treadmill, if you want to buy a treadmill. This treadmill here, about 650 pounds. but you can just basically get a gym membership, which is actually on one of my other videos. Check it out in the link uh, in the description. If you want a massage chair, you might want one of these for, oh, this one's probably the cheapest, just under 2,000 pound, okay? So if you want to get yourself a massage chair, 2,000 pound. Oh. <laughs> it's not even comfortable not even comfortable if you want an uncomfortable massage chair then spend two thousand pound perfect it, it just doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense right have we got anything else worth looking at you can get you can get everything here for kids even even for adults so have we got some more uh feeler color t-shirts yeah everything's generally about 20 pound 800 nt Feeler t-shirts, this one's £15. Feeler's quite popular, as you can see here. Well, here's the gym stuff. You've got all your spa bands, resistant bands, ranging from £2.50, depending on strength, going up to around £4. Yoga mats again, these are around £15. These things are pretty decent. Changeable mobile weights, okay. So these are around 100 and 120 pound. What does it go up to? 55 pound, no idea what that is in kg. Is it around 50 kg? But these are really good. If you wanna keep them in your home, you can actually change the weight and it basically just takes the weight off each end or you can adjust it to make it a higher weight really good instead of having loads of different sets of dumbbells so that's more more ideal if you've got a limited space and you do want to do a little bit at home i think these are pop-up tents yeah here you go little pop-up tents under 20 pound no that's a lie uh, just under 25 pound okay so around 20 23 pound for a, a pop-up tent you just fling it open easy actually i think this is one already open now, hiking and camping is quite popular because of all the mountains uh, in Taiwan. So, get yourself some hiking boots, some trail shoes, pop up 10. There you go, this one here, 25 pounds. Let's have a little look inside. Oh, I haven't been in a tent for ages. Let me put this down here. Oh, zip it up. There you go. Good for one big person, or if you want to get cozy with somebody, good for two people. Right, back out into the mixer. Everywhere else is mostly food upstairs. So let's see if we've missed anything. But I think we're about it. I'm gonna walk past the shoes again, trainers. Let's have a look at the flip-flops and sandals. You always need a good pair or a good few pairs of sandals. Adidas sandals here. Uh, for about 20 pound. Adidas sandals, 20 pound. Feeler sandals, just over 10 pound. You can also get yourself some shoes, some loafers for some reason if you want to wear shoes, if you're grown up and actually get a job. You can get leather shoes here uh, for around 25 pound. Black leather ones for around 20 pound. You got random Deodora, Deodora a lotto. You got some Deodora here for about 35 pound. Sketches, they're not sketches, they're just shoes what make you look taller <laughs> for about 30 pound. Shirts, sometimes people get a job interview and they've got no idea where to buy a suit and they don't want to spend a lot of money on the suit in case they don't get the job or they don't need it. So you can come here and you can get something like this for around 50 pounds actually 
not a bad style, quite funky. Don't want to be wearing a suit in this weather, shirts either. You can get some Emilio Valentino, everyone's heard of that, right? Emilio Valentino shirts for around £15 each. Different colour, different selection. Trousers also around £15, around £15. So if you are coming here on a budget and you've got some job interviews, you don't really want to be turning up in shirt and trousers at some school jobs. Here's some jackets, nice ones here, £65. You got some here for around £75. This one here, £75. This one, around £70. Yeah, you don't want to be turning up, going to interviews, uh, unless it's an international school or something. You just want to be casually smart, collared t-shirt, maybe some uh, nice style jeans or something like this, shoes, whatever you're comfortable with, okay? Uh, look, also, it depends on the person, right? I'm just having a look if we can see any quilts. But you don't need any quilts, really. Some people do for the winter, but I just wear like uh, I wear. I don't even wear any quilts. I just have uh, some throwovers, like some Viking rugs to keep you warm. What we got here, some, some random hard wooden pillows for about five pound. Random things like hand towels, okay? This might be useful, two pound 50, just over two pound. Uh, around £1.50, you need some of these. What about if you want a bigger towel? So some bigger towels for about £15. Towels are expensive. <laughs> or maybe that's cheap, I don't know. That, it's just a random cost, what you don't think about. Here you go, these ones are about, about £7, a good size. Quality isn't great, but you can get full size towels for £7. If you're on the budget, you don't have to be spending a lot of money on these things. Uh, dressing gown, not gonna need it, 25 pound. You need a nice little silk red one with a dragon if you're gonna get a gown, a, a thin silk gown. Got more pillows down here. Playboy pillow sets for around 35 pound. More covers, pillowcases. One set of pillowcases, 10 pounds, yeah. So basically, if you come to a department store like this, like care for, it's got everything you need if you just landed in the country or you just moved into a new place and you need some bits and bobs. You need some items to get you going. Pillows here, look, you got a pillow here for about three pound, three pound 50, okay? Look, nothing wrong with it. It's a clean new pillow, three pound 50, not bad whatsoever. So that just gives you a, a rough idea of some of the prices for some necessities when landing in the country or even if you're having a, a, a short to middle term or even a longer term stay. Okay, just finishing off on some casual clothes now. So we're looking at things what aren't a known or big name, like care for, special. Interesting, around six pounds, six or seven pound, okay? So you can get t-shirts from six or seven pound Trousers and pants for about £10 as well. Same if you're looking for shorts or trousers. Look, you got a load of jeans or pants or trousers, whatever you call it in the United States. Anything from £12 to £20. Again, t-shirts under £10, so £12 US dollar, okay? Not bad quality, to be honest. So, again, if you're on the budget or you just need some things because you've landed in the country, very reasonable price. Don't question the style though. You got these for, look, these are like six or seven pounds. So a range of pounds, six or seven pound. You got some more here for about 10 pound as well. Different range of t-shirts, five pound. I might actually get a few of these, just casual wear, no issues. So like I said, everything you need. And I think that's about it, apart from the food, but that is for another day. Thank you everybody for watching. Remember to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Stay cool, hope to see you in Taiwan very soon. Check out the links in the description below. Take care.